Hello and welcome to Factorio Engineering Part 2, specifically 4-Way Intersections Part 2. Well, my first 4-Way um, Intersection had some flaws. Uh, I thank you all very much for your feedback. I made an obvious mistake putting... Um, normal signals inside the loop and did not test with longer trains than two locomotives so I didn't discover it either as uh, two of those fit inside at the same time anyway uh, well actually four uh, but yeah so as you can see I have uh, fixed them Thank you, Magma McFry, for uh, suggesting the positions. Uh, I think someone else mentioned it as well. Uh, in the YouTube comments, I think, as well. But yeah, so that's fixed now. So this thing works now as good as it can, pretty much. And uh, as good as it can pretty much means that... Uh, as normal, if they make a left turn, all four trains can go at the same time. If they go straight ahead, two, uh, the two opposite each other can go at the same time. However, if they make a right turn, they have to do it one at a time. Uh, Toxomania suggested uh, a smart solution to the blueprint. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, he, he uses this design, he says, but a blueprint like this, if I understand him correctly. Uh, I'll put his comment in here. Uh, and basically, you just paste this down, rotate it, and just can paste it over, and we will only add the parts you're missing. So you can easily get an uh, intersection for the directions you need, so you don't get all of them and save material. And as it's uh, fairly uh, symmetric, uh, it works fine. It's a very smart solution. Uh, Reddit names are short. Uh, uh, showed his um, solution, which is a four-way intersection uh, without a loop. I'll leave an image here that you can see his version. It's not entirely symmetric. Uh, it works very well. It's not entirely symmetric though, and I like symmetry. So I made uh, a slightly different version, and I also like left-hand drive on trains because then I get the signals in the middle. Uh, so I made uh, another version that is symmetric. So. Uh, this one has uh, the downside that it's much more complicated to build. Uh, more signals. Maybe you don't need all these signals. Uh, basically, I, ha I have put in signals anywhere that I think that it could be needed in some odd case, essentially. Uh, some of them might be totally unnecessary, though. If you see someone that you can prove that it's totally unnecessary, please let me know. And I'll update the design. But yeah, here basically it's the same as the loop in uh, when there's a left when they do a left turn and go straight ahead. Uh, the difference is when it makes a right turn then two, still two can go at the same time. Uh, another I don't know if it's a downside. If you just use these, uh, it's not really downside. It takes uh, more space here. See here, uh, you have three spaces here uh, to fit all the signals in on this design. And uh, possibly Reddit's names are short. He might have had two, like I have here. Uh, that might be why his design was couldn't be symmetric. I'm not entirely sure about that. It's a bit hard to tell from the picture. But yeah, so this one is three uh, spaces in between. So it takes a little bit more space uh, for these 
lanes as well. Because as you might know, just shifting a rail one line to the side is almost impossible. Uh, I mean, it, you can do it, but it's gonna look like it's gonna go out and back in. Looks ugly. But yeah, so. Uh, so this is my design for that one, and uh, that one, it, it is more efficient, and I'll show you here. I have set up a network here, so I can give, uh, where is it, there it is. I can give here the go signal, and watch both at the same time. So first, they should make a left turn, unless I park them in the wrong spot. And we we'll turn it off as well, so everything can finish. Yeah, and they finish exactly the same time. Uh, if you're wondering, like the distance between the stations and the center of the intersection is the same, exactly the same on both. Uh, make sure it's fair. And I've also set the uh, schedule up so they first uh, turn, make a left turn, then go straight, then make a right turn, then go straight back. So we can run this again. And now they are going to go straight and just works just as well in both designs. And, but now they are going to make a right turn. And here we will notice a big difference. The one on the right goes through two at the same time, while the one on the left just do one at a time, which of course makes it twice as uh, long to finish. Uh, and if you don't have that much traffic, Basically, where there's a very low risk that uh, many trains come and need to make a right turn at the same time, then this design is much simpler and um, takes less resources as well. Uh, but if you have a heavy network, then this design is obviously to prefer, especially if si um, real estate isn't a problem. As you can see, it's a bit bigger this one okay and now if we just continue here they're gonna great drive straight ahead and they're back in their original positions yeah and that works fine so there is however one uh, way to get these loop intersections, roundabout intersections, if you will, uh, to be more or less as efficient as this one. And uh, that's uh, something uh, Black Fedora, I hope that's correctly pronounced, suggested um, uh, one that is inspired by a magic roundabout. If you haven't heard of that before you can google Swindon magic roundabout that's uh, s-w-i-n-d-o-n magic roundabout and you will see something similar to this so I didn't copy the design exactly like uh, black fedora had done I can show them side by side here because uh, I don't like diagonal entrances and exits. I want it uh, to be north, south, or east, west. Uh, and uh, this one obviously takes much more space, as you can see, but it can uh, handle about the same amount of trains. And uh, Black Fedora says as well that if you have mixed like sizes, you might have a short train with just one locomotive and uh, a wagon, or just a locomotive, then that one can uh, sneak through uh, while two other trains are going as well. Possibly. I don't know if I've placed the signals exactly like his uh, image there, but it's... Um, 
couldn't I couldn't see quite accurate. Um, but yeah, pretty much I think I have them where they it makes sense to have them. And I have set up the same schedule here. So we'll see. There we have them going straight ahead. Of course, this one has. Well, the obvious downside is the size, and also that they take a much longer route through the intersection. So it actually takes longer time through the intersection itself to just drive the train. And there they make a right turn. And it works fine. I have on uh, odd occasions when I have left this running, sometimes uh, there will be a train that stops and waits for another train, even though it's only one other train here, and it should be able to go in, uh, but it doesn't for some reason, and I guess it's that they somehow at the same time decided what path they wanted to take and uh, that that intersected so it basically waits for it it does happen very rarely though but yeah that is uh, it basically so this is the three most useful designs i have uh, been able to uh, figure out or well come up with based on uh, suggestions you gave me maybe someone that is seeing this for the first time has an even better suggestion please let me know thank you for watching <laughs>